back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration. If you're new to the channel, my name is Barry. Well, what a beautiful day, isn't it? It's going to be a lovely week, apparently, according to the weather forecast. What we're we going to do today, then? We're going to get this unwrapped, get the PTO out of there, stick it in the back of the car, take it home, get it stripped out, get it cleaned and painted, see what else we need to, bit of like bearings or whatever that we need to put it right. So, Let's crack on. Chains again today. So, eventually, we get the PTO home. First we're going to do, try and knock this handle off here. According to the parts book, this is a parallel pin through here. So we're going to have a go, removing the parallel pin. If we kind of get it out, we'll put a bit of heat on it. Let's just hope we don't smash any punches. a bit of heat on it, eh? Be cracking if I've got to drill this out, isn't it, eh? I don't think that's going to come out of there. I'm going to grab a drill. Let's see what we've got. Put my glasses back on. So... That's it. It's, 
it it's gone put a bigger one in something right that was where's me digging no daddy doesn't fit say we can of course we'll nick the sides but that's all right because it's relieved enough pressure took the rust out to let the pin come out now what we'll do take what punch out take what handle off eh? if only it was that easy that's took about an hour to get off bits of bent metal and all sorts drillings I'll take the two bolts out of here so I could get in with my tapers and put a set of tapers on because you couldn't get the couldn't get the pullers in. But anyway, it's off now. What we can do now, and all I want to do is turn this upside down and drain the oil out of it. That's all I wanted to do today. So now we'll get it rigged. We'll get it turned upside down and we're engine hoist and we'll let the oil drain out of it and tomorrow we will start and take this to pieces right right we'll leave it hanging there for a little while let the oil drain out of it cleaned up and tomorrow we'll start and pull some bits and pieces off it get it emptied get all the bits washed up wire brushed cleaned and then we'll have a look at getting them uncoated right let's get Let's get all the toys put away, huh? We'll get cleaned up. Well, first job today, rear cover's got to come off. Then, we've got to go down this hole. See the hollow pin in there? It looks like a roll pin, doesn't it? So that pin's got to come out because that pin's holding the selector shaft in place. Selector shaft's got to go that way out. Your detents, see the groove in the shaft here, this is where your detents fit in. Your detents are in this part of the fork. There's a spring and a ball push up against the shaft. So the shaft's got to go that way, the fork's got to come out, and the spring and the ball you've got to try and catch. Then we're going to take the shaft out of here, then we take the bottom shaft out. Jobs are good. So, little bit of a job for today let's crack on right first thing we want to do today was the cover off two broken studs in here they'll have to get drilled out and put right but we'll uh, half inch on the top too Right, and 11 sixteenths on the main fall. Oh, pulling the studs. Not to worry. Maybe just as easy. Makes cleaning easier. Right. Soft face hammer, we'll give it a bit of a tap. bar end of it. Bah. Let's 
got to be tight. I bet there's a couple of dolls. I bet there's a couple of dolls. So we're getting a scraper, paint scraper. Get that in there. Work while we're around. There's a dowel there. Here's, here's where pilots come to see what we're doing. See what's going on. Everybody's spying on me. It'll be the Russians. Yep, there's definitely a dowel in there. There we go. Look at that, two dowels. One, two. One there, one there. I'll tell you what it is. Look at the seal. The seal's brand new. Clean that up before the wife sees it. I'm gonna get some spray. I'd rather like my testicles where they are. And my wife's real handy with a big sharp knife. Anyways, right, back to the job in hand. Oh, that's full of gunk. I just, I cannot believe that, that that beautiful new seal, but look at the gunk, they put a bean in, they put a new seal in, but they've left the rubbish in the bottom, never mind, okay, oh that, that sounds beautiful doesn't it? Working. That sounds gorgeous. We're going to get the shaft out. We're going to then take the sir clip off here. And I think we're going to have to take that sir clip off inside there. You bump the shaft that way, you pull the bearing out, and the shaft goes, your gear comes out the top, shaft goes forward. All right. I kind of believe they've, uh, they've done that. Anyways, <coughs> let's concentrate on getting this out. I've got a feeling we're going to have to drill it because it's a pin. It's probably been in there a very long time. It has got a hole in the top, as we saw before. But that hole only goes down to hit the top of there. We're even putting this back on with silicon, man. Okay. Now we're thinking about how we're going to get this uh, pin out. Okay. Back to method of last resort. We can I get that pin out? That's um, just got a hole in it. And the hole only goes to the top of this shaft. So you kind of, it's not tapped, so we're just going to get in there with a the drill and check it out. Well, I thought we were...
touched. So, what we've done, we've tried to drill it. It's hardened, however, the top face of it was, was chamfered. So the drill bit in and spun the pin, which loosened it off. So I've now put a stud extractor into the hole and we can pull the pin out. Which I'm surprised at. But there we go. Nice little pin. Good job. Somebody thought of drilling the hole in the top of it, isn't it, when it's been hardened? So anyway, that's that out. Now, it says in the book, bump the shaft forward. Let's see if we can. Can we give this a bit, bit of laughing gas? <coughs> It's just stopped because no, that has hit. So that becomes confusing. The manual says bump it forward, and I would have thought that way is forward. However, um, get me a brass punch. That's what I wanted to do. Now, pop that in there, stop the rod going back in the hole. <coughs> trying to do there was knock the detent through the hole so we can get the shaft here it comes now as I say shaft shaft out we've now got to try and catch the balls in the springs that's in here this is going to be good. Tiny little ball, seen it? Tiny little thing. Put that in there safely. There's a screw in the back of here. Probably for increasing the tension on the spring. No, it's not, it's so you can actually get the spring out. So we'll need a screwdriver. Take that out of there, because that spring will not come out of that hole. We'll pop that in there for safety. Okay. We want to get some circle pliers. So we're going to pop the circle clip off here. The hook says pop the circle clip off. Then bump your shaft forward till it comes out of the bearing. Take the bearing out. Pull the shaft back. Take off the other circle clip. So I'm just wondering. If that other surf clip is supposed to bump the bearing for that bearing forward. Let's have a look. Get 
this one off first. Special surf clips then. Got little lugs on them to go up against the bearing. Trying to get this surf clip with it here <coughs> has proven fairly difficult. You cannot really get in with your surf clip pliers because of where it is, and it keeps wanting to slip back. Obviously, there, slipping back into this little hole. circuit would cause so much trouble. Very nearly. Got it. Patience, you see, we'll get it. We'll get there. Can we get in with our other pliers now? No. Let's just. Right. Put that out the way for a minute. So. With a combination of screwdrivers and pliers and tenacity, we get it. Now that that surf clip's pulled forward, we've got to drive the shaft backwards till it's out of this bearing. Give you a quick little look at this. See the in here? See the needle rollers? So be aware that they could potentially drop out of there. So we're driving this forward till this shaft leaves this bearing. There we go. There's a, there's a second E clip on them, um, sir clip on here. Let's see if we can get this clip off. I think if we can get this clip off this this will come out the shaft will go out the back second one off I think yes that shaft's gonna come out the back now here be very careful that on there for a minute right big drift I'm gonna go in through that hole there and up against that bearing that out 
of that bear and shot anyway. So we're going to see the play in it. There's a snap ring on it to stop it pulling inside. Okay. Right, we're going to knock this bearing out of here. What I've got here is, I'm using it upside down, it's for positioning seals and castings, but it's just the right size to pop on there and let me knock that out. I put a towel in the back end to catch in case the rollers come out. And as predicted, the rollers have come out as it flew. But that was to be expected. Let's have a look at this. There's all our little rollers. There we go. We'll get them all a bath. We'll inspect the the race in there, the outer race. We'll put them back onto the inner race, see what they move like. And if they need replaced, they'll get replaced. Right. Next job. Remove the nut off this hydraulic pump isla. Um, it is inch and eighth. This is a very tight fit because, as we see here, someone's been in with a chisel again. I've knocked. I've knocked the um, the locking tabs off. There's a locking washer on there, and I've just I've knocked it off. So. That was ridiculously tight for what it's doing. We'll get the nut off, pull the locking tab out. We'll get me pullers. Not a tab on there, is there? No, but there is a circlip in there. So, let's have the other circlip out. We'll get a set of pullers. Right, I went to all the trouble getting the pullers, getting me nut and me washer, putting them on there, and as I tightened the puller into position, it comes off. There's another circlip in the back here, which keeps the bearing in. You see where somebody's been at that over there. That's got a time. Oh, I thought it was a timing mark there, but it isn't. That bearing's loose in there. Will it come out? the circlip out so I can get at the outer race
that's got 89F on that side. This was the front, 89F was the front. Right, we'll give that a bath, that'll get a bath. That idler shaft stops in there. Next thing we've got to do in here, there's a socket head screw in here, which is in the back of the main shaft. We've got to take that out, pop the big washer off. There we go. That washer is peened over to keep that captive. I think the idea was it was supposed to actually stop it rotating like a lock nut. Let's make a box of goodies. Now we're supposed to be able to drive that shaft forward without damaging the internal threads that that cap screws just come out of. So can we, I'm going to put my old washer in there, like that. I'm going to go up against the washer. We're out. So, this should just come out the front now. I might have to still, let's have a look, see if we can get in there and get this gear out the way. Nope, the shaft's still in the middle a bit. So we'll just give it another bump. Now we should be able to pull them gears out of there. Looks like I'm going to have to bump it all the way through. We'll put a towel at that end just to catch it. See what's happened. There's the inner race. Look at that bearing. One gear out. Second gear out. Now, where the shaft's coming out of, in here, is another set of needle bearings, and it looks like these ones are solid. So let's get that, let's get that shaft out of there. on that bearing. I think we'll do the same. I think we'll come in with one little, one little punchy set and drift that out of there. If I can find what I've done with it. There it is. Let's have a look. It 
tell you, I'll just give you a quick look at these. Look at this. And this is in, look at that. Again, what they've done here is they haven't waited for, the PTO brake was missing off this tractor when I got it. What they've done is they've just sat with a hand on the lever, which is probably why they snapped the lever. And they've ground the gears till it fits in. See that one's normal. That's normal wear. The front edge rounded. But that those ones are alright. And then you get the places where it's just, it's just suffered enormous wear through bad shame there. Always check your dirty little oily holes. That's full of metal shavings, that. Okay. Now. That, that selector shaft wants a little bit of emery on it. And we'll pop that out in the middle. Now let's see if we can get in here. get this bearing out. But I'm going to say I've got a fear the rollers just don't move at all. So I've got a feeling this one is I've seen better days. There's me hammers. Pop the towel again on the floor in there, just to catch anything that might come out, here we go, Porsche ya bugger get up, that one flew, so All we've got left to do now is drive the one remaining bearing out. And we'll come in from the back here to do that. Sorry. Let's get some spray on the floor said before I do like me testicles where they are so what's that leave what to do it just leaves us to pull out the selector fork from there we're gonna leave the eyelash shaft in that doesn't matter we just need to We'll dress that, the end of the shaft up, get the selector fork pulled out, housing's empty. Jobs are good. Right, we're going to have to hurry with this, because the camera is about to die. So I'll give this a quick tidy up. Quick bit of sploosh. Soft hammer, what is the soft hammer? Brass drift. Let's have a look here.
right. You can see where it's been in the gearbox and where it's been out of the gearbox. It's got to be a, a brass bush in there. But I'm not worried about the, there is. I'm not worried about the wear on it because that was nice and tight. You could feel it was when it was coming out. The bush hasn't moved. Okay. Let's have a wipe down. Just a quick one before my phone dies. That's the oil in the light here. That's the oil that came out of the diff yesterday. There's a little bit of grey around the side, the majority of it's black, so it looks like some of the water has evaporated out of it and left it like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's going to get changed. Just thought I'd show you. So there we go. PTO housing completely emptied. Looks like we need a few bearings. That gear that's worn, I think I'll take some advice on that. But at the minute, I'm not tempted to replace it because the work that this tractor is going to do after it's finished, not going to matter. But I'm going to just say, I'll take some professional advice on that. And we will see. If they say replace it and the cost is reasonable, then okay. All we're gonna do now tidy one mess up. Where are we? Tidy one mess up. And then go that way. And then get everything washed up, get it a bath, give it an inspection, and we'll see where we go. Okie doggie. That's the Davy Brown 990 PT out the bits. Thanks very much for visiting. See you next time. Bye.